Hello friends, I'm Dr. Minakshi and I've done my MD in Pediatrics from the prestigious All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. So with your neat PG results out and with the counselling round the corner, so this is a big, big question in your mind, which subject should I opt for, for my post-graduation? Yes, friends, this is a very, very big and a major decision, okay, because what you will decide now, you will be doing it for the rest of your lives. So this video will help you decide, you know, whether you should opt for pediatrics as your specialty of choice for your post-graduation. So watch this video till end to get the answer to this. What makes pediatrics different from other medical specialties? So as we already mentioned, pediatrics is a branch that caters to the newly born baby and even the fetal life sometimes and newborn and then the infant, the child, the adolescence. So you can see you're catering to a wide age group. Okay, and the different age groups in this pediatric age group have their own inherent set of problems and issues that we are dealing with at different points of time. So it never gets monotonous. Okay, so you get a wide variety of patients every day. And you know, pediatrics is a branch where the child will come to you not just for the sickness, but for you know, other issues also like you know whether the growth of the child is happening properly or not how is the development of child how is the nutrition of child the immunization of child so the preventive aspect is also very well taken care of right and you have lots of things to deal with now what are the prerequisites that one should have for you know choosing pediatrics as a career option so the first and foremost thing is you should have the love for the subject. You should love kids, okay? You should be, you know, comfortable dealing with children and, you know, you should really enjoy dealing with them. So, and having a lot of patience is important. You have to patiently deal with the child, okay? Because the child is not going to, you know, up, uh, be upfront and, you know, very easily give his or her complaints to you. And many a times when the child is small, it is the parents who will be able to tell you some things, but sometimes they are also not able to figure out what is the problem. So you should have a keen sense of observation also, and you should be able to decipher from the cues that the child is giving. Yes, it does need a lot of experience to do that, but believe me, once you're able to get the knack of it and you're able to, you know, have a good observation power, good patience, and able to deal with the kids in a happy and friendly way, so the kids will also be happy coming to you and you will also be happy dealing with them, catering to them and making them happy. Now, another thing that is very important in taking this decision is try to pictureize yourself five years down the line or 10 years down the line. So, you know, see yourself as a pediatrician. Think whether you'll be happy you know, dealing with kids every day and whether you'll be happy as a pediatrician. So if you really have the love for the subject, then definitely go for it. Don't have the ifs and buts that, you know, whether I'll be able to deal with children or not. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But if you have, you know, that bent of the mind to do it, then definitely with practice, you will be able to succeed in it. So what are the pros of taking pediatrics as a subject for your, you know, post-graduation? So one is pediatrics is definitely a clinical subject. So, you know, it has, it involves a lot of patient interaction, unlike, unlike the preclinical subjects and unlike some of the clinical subjects also like radiology, right? So pediatrics will involve a lot of clinical interaction with the children, with their parents and their family members as well. And, you know, what other thing that is important is you're dealing with children. So most of the times, you know, they will do some funny things and they'll, you know, uh, they take away all your stress. So that is another thing about it that you can come back home happy. If you've made, you know, children uh, free from their pain or free from whatever their complaints were and when you deal with them, it automatically gives you that sense of happiness and satisfaction. You can decide how much do you want to do. You can just be a general pediatrician, okay, and you can practice, you know, the uh, basic aspects of pediatrics like general pediatrics which sees a whole gamut of disorders, right, and you can practice uh, looking at the babies and the growth, immunization, their development, okay, and you can deal with the common childhood illnesses or you can opt to, you know, sub-specialize, you can do a DM. So now you have DM available in almost all the fields of pediatrics. So you have DM in pediatric hematology, pediatric hemato-oncology, you have pediatric neurology, neonatology is there, pediatric nephrology is there, pediatric endocrinology is there. So you name it and you have it, right? 
and there are some branches like genetics and medical oncology which you can do even after doing pediatrics so there are lots of options available for super specialties also if you want to do that so you can after doing you know your post graduation in, in pediatrics and after some experience you can start your own private clinic if you want that you can join some private hospital if you want that or if you you want you can join a big corporate hospital also or you can you know if you have a knack for teaching you can join medical colleges and you know teaching institutions and you can practice that so it all depends how much boundary do you want so if you want to have a work life balance then you know uh, opting for an institutional practice a practice where you can uh, in a teaching institution is good then you can have you know 6 to 8 hours a day so your 9 to 4 or 9 to 5 kind of a practice that can be there if you are really ambitious you can go ahead for your private clinics which of course will demand more time during evenings also and you know your holidays might get a bit compromised yes you have to be on your toes if you want to do a private practice or you go into corporate if you want to settle down in big cities and in corporates then of course nowadays they are going more and more for super specialization so what are the cons of taking pediatrics so pediatrics yes it is a hectic subject so you know during your residency you will be doing a lot of night duties also there will be times when you know you are spending 24 hours 36 hours at a stretch in the ward and after that also yes it is going to be hectic especially in the initial few years of your practice it is going to be very very hectic and of course then you can decide where to draw a line and how much you want to take it at times it becomes a lot of stressful also because you know dealing with parents whose children are really sick and you know at times obviously we are not able to salvage everyone and obviously we are not able to you know there are some boundaries to medical treatment also so when you know you are those stressful situations also you should be able to deal with okay so that is one con yes so there are some children whom we will not be able to despite our best care we might not be able to do much for them so yes that is a stressful situation that many a times you might have to encounter and as i already mentioned if you are planning to settle in big cities then be ready for do for doing some specialization super specialization i mean so either dm or fellowships because the big corporates nowadays would want that so you know if you have studied well if you have you know your grasp over the concepts well if you have spent time with the patient in your clinics and during your post graduation learning things then trust me there is no problem in earning a decent amount okay of money so uh, that is sufficient for you know taking care of you so that should not be a problem with pediatrics so as i mentioned you can have a variety of setups where you can work depending on you know how much work life balance do you want how much time do you want to spend and what is your how do you see yourself 10 years down the line so do tell us friends if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to our prep ladder medical specialty channel i'm sure you'll do great in whatever field you decide so all the very best friends subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder